The Kano model is an approach to prioritize features on a product roadmap based on the degree to which they're likely to satisfy customers. This is a model developed by Professor Noriaki Kano, who was a professor at the University of Tokyo. And the key goal of the Kano method is basically helping companies prioritize customer satisfaction. It helps you build the product that maximizes the satisfaction level for your customers. So let's look at the key components of the Kano model. The essence of this model is to categorize the requirements of your product or the benefits that your product offers customers into the following three categories, basic expectations, performers, and delighters. Basic expectations are basic. Your product has to include them. Without them, the customer will be dissatisfied. If a customer tries the product and it doesn't meet at least one basic expectation, they will most likely be dissatisfied and the product will be rejected. For example, if we're talking about a restaurant as a business, every restaurant has to be clean. Without this basic expectation met, no customer will be satisfied. For the airline industry, a safe flight is a basic expectation. Almost no user will accept an unsafe flight, even for a very low price. You need to invest in meeting basic expectations. However, if you only focus on meeting basic expectations, even if you meet all of them, you'll eventually reach a limit of customer satisfaction that you cannot improve beyond. The second category is performance. The more you invest in performers, the more customer satisfaction increases. The higher their performance, the greater the satisfaction of the customer. That's why they're called performers. For example, in the restaurant business, the quality of the food is a typical performer. The better the quality of the food, the more tasty and enjoyable the food is, and the more satisfied the customer is at the end of their meal. In the airline industry, comfort and price are performance. The more comfortable the plane, or the lower the price of the flight, the more satisfied the customer will be. And the last category is the delighters. Customers don't usually complain if they're not present. However, if you add delighters, it would be a delightful surprise for the customer, which would greatly increase their satisfaction. Delighters help you attract more customers and they help you differentiate your product. They increase positive emotions toward your product as they show the customer that you care about them. For a restaurant business, offering a free parking space is a delighter. The customer does not expect it and it makes arriving on time easier more enjoyable and cheaper. In the airline industry, you could be given a small gift next to your lunchbox. That's also a delighter. What's interesting about delighters is that over time, as competitors start providing the same delighters you do, those delighters eventually become basic expectations. For example, if years ago having internet access in a restaurant was a delighter, now that's just a basic expectation. So that was the Kano model, and in the next lecture, you're going to learn how to apply the model and build your own product strategy.